Um, it would be humanizing. Mm. So we, as owners, a lot of times they like to think of their dogs as their children. Mm -hmm. And then they try to apply human psychology, human emotions to a dog, and it doesn't work. So dogs are, every instinct they have is an animal instinct, and that never changes. And we kind of got away from basic obedience. You know, we, we want to we positively reinforce and only positively reinforce. Mm -hmm. And that's not how dogs communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just having to learn their language and, and speak to them in a way that makes sense. I bet you see a lot of... A lot of dogs that just walk all over their owners, basically. Like, they have the run of the mill of the house, run of the mill, whatever, just because they've been allowed to do to do whatever. I mean, how do you uh, sort of approach those kind of situations, and how do you get owners to kind of back off from just constantly sort of spoiling their dogs and, you know, and, and sort of messing up, uh, sort, of me sort of messing things up? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's easy to train a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so training the owners is, is a big part of what I do. So it's, it's mainly about educating them. Mm -hmm. You know, we, because we think of our dogs as children um, versus the fact that they're a dog, dogs are pack animals. Mm -hmm. So they move in groups and packs. And if, if humans were never involved, dogs were never domesticated, they would have a leader of their pack. Mm -hmm. And as people, we don't know how to take that role. So we don't lead them. And dogs are dominant by their basic nature we're catering by our basic nature. So dogs end up taking the lead. 